What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we'll hop back onto that ranked double ladder with this Cinderace and Starmie team. So if you guys are hype, you guys know the deal. Just smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We're pushing up on 5,000 subscribers for this channel. Cannot thank you guys enough, but front spot right here we got Starmie with this amazing typing of water and psychic i just think that is such a good typing because it learns hydro pump which is big stab damage expanding force that new psychic move which hits like a truck in the psychic surge meteor beam which is an amazing rock move and we have the power herb just for that and protect like i said it has power herb for item and natural cure as its ability so when i swap out i can get rid of status conditions like that it's game over just a little snap and it's gone we got porygon z over here we've been using him quite a bit he's very very strong with that adaptability ability and life orb that's kind of sounds weird adaptability ability but you know what it's so strong it can be whatever it wants it has hyper beam for stab dark pulse thunderbolt and protect normal move set for that porygon it rocks out pretty strong we got our tailwind setter whimsical with energy ball tailwind helping hand protect and the focus ash obviously we got like bureau Cinerace, and since porygon has that life orb we have the expert belt on it with pyro ball iron head high jump kick and sucker punch for that first turn priority move. A Moongi over here. We got a Moongus right here with that Koba Berry, so it can eat up an air move, a flying move, whichever you want to call it. With the Regenerator, awesome ability. I love that ability because we can swap out, get some more HP, then swap back in and dominate once again. Energy Ball, Rage Powder, Spore, and Protect. Awesome move set on this thing. This thing is an absolute monster. And then in the final spot, we got ourselves Mel and Didi with those Psychic Seeds, and it can set the Psychic Surge for uh, to help out with the Starmie. And then we can use Expanding Force with it. It has Mystical Fire. And then we have Trick Room, or we can Imprison Trick Room as well. But I believe this is more so just an Imprison Trick Room. This team is a rather fast team. But if you guys want to use this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But without further ado, let's hop onto that Rank Ladder and get some wins with this Starmie and Cinderace team. First battle coming at you guys, this guy is Dragapult, Titar, Porygon 2, two set of Trick Room, he has Toxtricity, Amoongus, and uh, Conkledor, so he can go either way, he might not even set the Trick Room, but let me check out Starmie's speed real quick, I want to see uh, Starmie's speed, usually it's pretty fast, yeah, 183, come on man, come on man, we're going to go Starmie, and I think Ndidi to get things rolling, because we can imprison Trick Room if he wants to go in that, obviously bring Big Dog Cinderace, and do we really need a Tailwind user here? I feel like we don't need a Tailwind Pokemon here, I just don't think that's needed. We outspeed everything besides the pole, and I feel like we can get rid of the pole. No problem with maybe just like expanding forces and all that. And just roll out from there. Hmm. Hmm. Who should my final Pokemon be? I'm thinking either Porygon or Amoongus. I feel like Amoongus can come in the back end and potentially do some work, put Pokemon to sleep. Roll from there. We're going to go Amoongus here. Let's say Porygon just, just for another time. We shut off Porygon plenty of times in other videos. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below. Genes25 on Twitch. Hit that link. Hit that follow button. Turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. And also, if you guys want to send me teams, send them in my Genes Instagram. Link to that is in the description below as well. Click on that. DM me over there. I prefer teams that I haven't used Pokemon with before, but I'm getting to the point where I use most of the Pokemon. So if you have teams that have Pokemon that I haven't used before, send them in. And if you have teams that you just think I would like, send them in as well. It seriously goes a long way. I would love to check them out. And then they have a chance of me playing them on my YouTube channel. But Pokemon that I haven't used yet is like, uh, I can't really think of a lot. I know I haven't used Klefki. I really want to use Klefki. Sharpedo's cool. Um, who else? Uh, Kangaskhan. That's dope too. But we're back in battle here. This guy said Sandstream, and he goes Poltsky. Who's Poltsky? He goes some Poltsky. Um, I kind of want to go just straight for a Hydro Pump. And there's no need for me to imprison Trick Room. Hmm. Hmm. Still, we still have the Surge. The Surge isn't bad, but there's no effect, and it's not very effective over there. So, bu -bu -bum. I think I'm just going to start going there for that. Maybe just drop an Expanding Force. Yeah, I think he's going to Dynamax to uh, T-Tar anyway. In the Sandstorm? No, he does not. He's going to drop it to a Phantom Force, which is totally fine. Let's still get off this big old Hydro Pump. And pose a big threat over to this T-Tar. Go ahead, hit that. Yes. Starmie lands it. That's big old damage right there. But this thing's going to eat up pretty well. See, look how much that thing eats it up. But that's big damage for us to actually uh, get rolling here. But we did trigger weakest possible, which is a little rough. A little rough here. Not a fan. Not a fan. Indeed, he used Expanding Force. Bruh. Miss. And it has no effect on that T-Tar. He goes for a lash out then. He's going to dump all my Ndidi. Indeed, he's gone. Indeed, he's just out of here. Indeed, he's gone. Bye, Indeed. See you later. <laughs> Indeed, he's gone. Get it get it out of here. Get it out of here. Another Hydro Pump will take out that T-Tar. Unless he Dynamaxes, but I'm not sure if he is going to Dynamax. Army and Dragapult do take buff at each side. And then, do I just get out Cinderace? And I could just Dynamax and roll from there. Hmm. 
If I, because if I switch, I can switch over to uh, dark typing if I really want to. I have so much options I could switch into. But I'm gonna dump on the Dragapult here. Dragapult is obviously gonna be faster than Cinderace, so I'm gonna take out Dragapult and I'm gonna try to land another Hydro Pump over on the T Tar. Because if we land a Hydro Pump, the T Tar's done. The T Tar's done. We won't even have to worry about it. So obviously this. And then we go on Dynamax into big old boy. And then Max Darkness could be the call. Lower special defense too, so we can guarantee taking out that T Tar. Yeah, we might as well do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's say bye bye to that Dragapult and try to get rid of this T Tar as well. Let's get a Dynamax. Oh no, this is me Dynamax. I was gonna say, no way he's Dynamax that T Tar. We already have half health on that thing. I, I just don't see it happening. But Liberio Cinderace comes out here. Everyone knows this thing's an absolute beast. Especially G Max now. It's it's uh, G Max moves, hits her 160, and goes to abilities. This thing's an absolute monster. 160 base power? Come on. This thing's a, he's just an animal. He's just an animal. And it's stab. Protect comes out. I'm fine with that. That's totally fine with me. Go ahead. Come for a Phantom Force. I'm cool with it. Go ahead. Hit me with that Phantom Force. I'm fine with it. It's no problem. It's no problem. To protect. Okay, Skarmy goes out, but you already know how we're rolling. This dude gets a crit. What you mean? But you already know how we're rolling. Rolling in with that max darkness. We can say buy this pulp. He's gone. Get it out of here. Now, Biro switch, baby. And now Cinderace will be the fastest. And it comes out to Cinderace and Amoongus, which is really fine by me because we can uh play rage powders all day. We can put Pokemon to sleep. We can do a lot here. We can do a, a ton here. A max knuckle will actually take out that uh. That T-Tar, so that could be very nice. Just get rid of the T-Tar just like that. And then just maybe Rage Powder the next shot. Let me just see who's next Pokemon. He's probably going to Dynamax the next Pokemon. He does throw out. And it's going to be Porygon too. We actually just might roll the Trigger. So I think I just put him to sleep. I think I just put Porygon 2 to sleep and I Max Knuckle over on T-Tar. Seems, seems pretty fair. Seems pretty nice. Pretty nice play there. Gonna just rage powder because we have speed advantage, so we're gonna put you to sleep, little boy. And then I'm just gonna drop you with a max knuckle and get that plus one attack for Cinderace because he can't protect again. He might try to go for a lucky protect, but just not gonna let him get that trick him off. Gonna be the light work, it's gonna be light work. I feel like we got this one kind of covered. So his next Pokemon is gonna be his Dynamax, or he's just gonna Dynamax C Tart and try to go for a max guard. Which I still think his max knuckle is going to take out. It's because four times uh, weakness to it. It's going to be stabbed now. It's going to be nice big old damage. But that just might be a waste of a Dynamax. Or this one just might be a last resort option for him. I think this is a last resort option for him. He's just like, alright, I think I have to go into this if I'm going to win this game. Let's just see what happens. Max knuckle comes flying through. We changing typings. We coming across. We looking to take out this T-Tar. Show it to me, baby. Show me this thing's out of here. Get it gone, kid. Get it out of here. Let's go. Let's go. That just secured victory right there. That just secured victory. Porygon 2 is going to go to sleep. He has no more Dynamax. He's not going to be able to set up a Trick Room. And we are just fine. We are just fine. If he had to protect, it would have been a totally different story. Because he could have just protected there. Uh, maybe set up Trick Room. Something like that. And if we didn't take out Porygon, he would have been chilling. Oh, but he does? Uh, he wasn't going for a Trick Room. Until he thought he was. Jeez, Porygon. Hold up. And this dude gets a crit. What you mean? That thing hit me like an absolute truck. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Think, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That thing really hit me that hard? Jeez, man. Like, leave me alone. That thing hit like a Porygon Z with adaptability. <laughs> Why did that thing hit like a truck? Because of the tox. Tox just here. Um, do I boost attack again? Nah, I'm just gonna go G-Max Fireball. Try to definitely get rid of this uh, tox Tristy. But he's gonna go down to Buffets, which is gonna be nice. So I'm gonna do damage over here. Max Fireball coming out here. Changing back. 160 base damage. Let's get it. Let's get it. What you want, fool? What you want? Get out of my face. Go. Gone. Out of here. Get it out of here, dude. Look how hard this thing hits. Like, come on. You cannot tell me that Cinderace is not one of the best Pokemon in the game right now. But he does set a Trick Room, which is totally fine by me. They have Sucker Punch and all that, but High Jump Kick's probably my play. I'm plus one on the board. And how much damage can a High Jump Kick do? I think going to do a decent amount. If we land it, if we land it, I feel like we're going to miss and we're going to lose this battle. I just have an odd feeling about it. Please, no. And we do have that, what's it called, dude, the expert belt, which gives us that boost of super effective damage. I'm going to go into it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Land this, buddy. Land it, Cinderace. I need you here, buddy. Been carrying all day. Goes for a try attack. Should be able to eat up just fine. Why does this thing hit like an absolute truck? High jump kick. Changes. Land and kill. Land and kill. Things evil light it. <gasps> No! <laughs> he 
He missed! He missed and we died. I don't know if that would have killed, but this poor guy was hitting like a truck. I'm definitely gonna check out his items and let you know what he was holding. Second battle coming at you guys. We definitely gotta bring Whimscott out here for that Tailwind because he has Tailwind user of his own. So we don't wanna lose speed advantage just like that. So we're gonna go Whimscott. Um, do I go in DD as well? Mm, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I think we definitely gotta bring Cinderace and maybe Starmie. I mean, Starmie, it would help Starmie out if he was in the uh, terrain. So Ndidi could be very, very good. Who shall I go? Ndidi or Starmie to lead with the Whimsicott? I think Starmie could be nice because we can potentially dump on Pokemon with a Meteor Beam, get that boost. Especially if he goes into a, uh, a what's it called? A Talon Flame, which he probably will. So we're going to go Starmie. And then at that point, we got to bring Cinderace. And then see the Porygon 2 or Ndidi. Porygon 2 or Ndidi. Hmm. Porygon 2 does hit like an absolute truck. We already know how strong that thing is. I think we're going to bring Porygon 2. Nah, we're going with Didi because I like the uh, the Psychic Surge and the uh, it works well with the Starmie and I have the Seeds with it. And he doesn't have anything to set the Surge unless that uh, that Weezing sets the Misty Terrain. Because I believe that's one of his abilities. He either learns Neutralizing Gas or the Misty Terrain one where he can set it up. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But let's get it. We're 0 1 right now. That poor got 2 was an absolute monster. I did not get to see the team. Uh, the little, their little team and all the Porygon 2 sets. So if you know why that thing's hitting like a truck, please let me know in the comment section down below. That thing was an absolute monster. But he's going to go out Kukadal and Vanellix. Kukadal and Vanellix. And I think it's going to be Anger Point. I really do think it's going to be Anger Point all day. So I'm definitely going to set up this Tailwind. And I'm going to get rolling from here. Snow Warning comes out. Leave me alone. He's either going to Anger Point or set up a... Uh, a what's it called here? That's fine. We're both special attackers. He's either going to Anger Point. Because this thing learn Frost Breath. Or is he going to set up an Aurora Bell? Either way, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm definitely going to set up a Tailwind and get off with that. And then I think I'm just going to Meteor Beam and take out this Vanilla. Or at least bring that thing down to a Sash because I can get, get after the next Pokemon. Well, let's see what happens. He's going to Dynamax. But I'm going to get off this Meteor Beam. We totally outspeed all day. Like, speed advantage is ours. It is all ours. This Vanilla has to be Sash, right? I honestly think maybe we should have just doubled up into that Vanilla. That probably should have been the play. Because both my Pokemon should be able to outspeed my Elks. And this thing's probably Sash. But I am going to get that uh, special attack boost, which is nice with Meteor Beam. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. Get that Tailwind Wong, baby. Get him. Oh, Ice Shard comes out. He's Ice Shard. That's super effective. Please don't get a crit. Oh, he's just triggering Weakness Policy. Okay, so he's not Anger Point. He's just going to trigger Weakness Policy, which is pretty smart. Okay, I'm cool with it. Meteor Beam comes out. We're going to actually like, soak up some sun or whatever it is. Some rocks off the ground. And our power herb is going to help us do this in one turn. Let's go. Look at that. Boosting that special attack. What you want, fool? What you want? But now we got Tailwind, which is looking lovely. Lovely, lovely. Meteor Beam comes out. Yeet. Get him. Get him. Do some mean damage to him. Get out of here. This thing is Sash. I kind of saw that coming. But at this point, I have a special attack boost. If I can go into a water move and do damage over on the Crocodile, it'll be good. But Darkness is coming through over on Starmie. Eat it up. No. <laughs> I knew Starmie was kind of dead. But well, Wimscott definitely is the fastest on the field right now. So I can totally go into a nice little energy ball, take out the the, 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 the Vanellix, so no Aurora Veil coming out here. And then get someone out there to do some damage over on the Crocodile, because I'm not dealing with them. I'm not dealing with that Crocodile. Let's get, let's get out Cinderace. If you want to mess with the big dogs, we'll mess with the big dogs. We will mess with the big dogs. Farmy's been getting dumped on. Farmy just got dumped on, man. But like I said, definitely energy ball. Yeet. And then definitely we Dynamax in. And what would be our best bet? Yeah, that fireball. Fireball hits like an absolute monster. Feel spike can come in here. Everything's super effective to the Vanellix. <laughs> Knuckle could come out here. That's super effective to both, but I don't think it's gonna take him out. Hmm. Hmm. Super effective. I think I'd rather go in with this. We we'll get a defense boost. What do I really think it's called? Is? I think it probably has Quake. Do you think Vanellix protects? Let me double up in the Crooks. I'd say we do that. Let me give that a go. Energy Ball. I'm going to double up in the Crooks. I'm going to drop a Max Knuckle on it. I'm going to drop a Max Knuckle on it. We're going to go for that. Hopefully this Vanellix maybe protects or something along those lines. That would be type nice. That's what I'm hoping for. Because he's got to know my Wim's got outspeeds. I just don't want him to get off that Aurora Bell. That could be kind of tough. be kind of tough. But I know I need this Crocodile out of here right here, right now, because he's going to dump all my Cinderace, no problem. But we are changing typings, which is awesome, which is awesome, to, to fighting. 
So let's see, Maxwell comes out, he does not protect, which is nutty. So, can we take out one shot and then maybe just, just change up the energy ball? Come on, do him dirty! Nope, that's why I doubled up into him. Come on, Wimsy Scott, I need you here, Wimsy. Wimsy, do work on it, do work on it! Do some dirty work! Energy ball, take him out. Let's go, double up did work very, very well. We get rid of that Crocodile, but at the cost of maybe an Aurora Rail popping out, which I'm actually totally fine with. That weakest policy Crocodile was a huge threat to us. I'm fine with it, let's see, Aurora Rail, yeah. Uh, I, I'm cool with that. I think that, that was a, uh, I think that was that was fine for us. That's totally fine. Cause we have Dynamax, we still have Ndidi in the back with the Psychic Seeds, give that special defense boost. Uh, Benelux doesn't stand a chance here. Benelux is gonna go down next turn. Unless it protects now. <laughs> He's gonna set out Talonflame. Okay, I'm totally fine with Talonflame. Which Talonflame might actually just set a Tailwind up. But if that's the case, I'm just gonna take it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna dump on that thing. Let's get a Steel Spike going. Or we can boost our attack again. Mm, I think we're just gonna boost our attack. Actually, both of them are not very effective. Max Darkness probably our play. Max Darkness. We are plus one. Which is lovely. Let's see what happens. Braver coming out here. Oof. Oof! Leave me alone! Please don't tell me this thing's Ice Sharding. He does not ice shard. That is that is that is really good. That's really good for us. He should have ice shard. Oh my god, we eat up the brave bird. We eat up the brave bird. You're gone. Get it out of here. Town flame out of here. Vanelix, get out of here. Energy ball should be able to come out. And then we have one more Dynamax turn left, which we should pyro ball and potentially take out. Let's see what happens here. This thing didn't hit ice shard. He didn't ice shard. He should have doubled up into me. Stupid. Probably could have had a win. Probably could have had a win. I don't know if that, that was going to do 33 damage. That would have been close, but still, our Cinderace would have been down after this round. Or to the buffets. But we do get an extra turn. Alright, final Pokemon coming out here. Hopefully it doesn't have first turn priority. Wheezy. Does not. This game's wrapped up. Wrap it up! Wrap it up! And this thing was rolling Misty Surge. Okay. Okay. This thing was rolling Misty Surge. We're just going to help me hand it. Probably better than just going through a not very effective energy ball. Steel Spike is our call. Steel Spike is totally our call. It's gonna go into a big old Pyro Ball Fireball. But nah, yo, we going Helping Hand, Super Expert Belt, or the Expert Belt, not Super Expert Belt. Stab, super effective, plus one. Bye bye, yo, it's game over, baby. Game over, Cinderace, Cinderace coming up big once again. This thing is an absolute beast. We got one and one so far, but we're gonna hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record and um, show off that Starmie a little bit more because it got dumped on like the first two battles. I think it's so weird seeing Darmanitan now. I feel like ever since the Owl of Armor came out, Darmanitan's kind of been pushed back in the rank ladder. But seeing him, you only see him every so often now. And it just looks weird. It just looks different to me. I don't know. Must be me. But he's got Porygon Z alongside with him. Whimsicott for the Tailwind. Togekiss, Incineroar, and Storm Jane Gastrodon. Um, what do I want to do? Um, I think I just want to go set Surge. Do I set Surge going with Whimsicott and then maybe swap out? I say I go Wimscott, mm, Wimscott and Didi, and then go Starmie. And I think Porygon or Cinderace. Cinderace is so good. <laughs> Everyone knows Cinderace is so good. He has Porygon as well, so could be looking a little scary. Could be, could be looking a little scary. I mean, Porygon might be the better option considering he cannot be intimidated. Hmm. An intimidate could just be like a pester thing. You guys already know. Cinderace is OP, so we're going with Cinderace here. We are gonna go Cinderace. He is so strong. He is so strong. Plus, I showed off Porygon in the last battle, and I did like a bunch of different videos with him in it. So, let's get Cinderace rolling out here. We are sitting one on one, looking for a winning record, and I realized we lost that first battle, which ruined our win streak. We went back to back videos going three and zero, so we ruined our win streak. We are now on a two or a one now. We are now on a one game win streak, but it goes Porygon. To get going, to get started, we're gonna go Wimscott and DD. We're gonna set Tailwind of our own. And drop a nice little expanding force. Drop a nice little expanding force. Go ahead, taunt me a little. He might actually taunt me. Might be the case. He's gonna taunt me. I got my seeds popping. I got my psychic seeds popping if you want to smoke, kid. But I definitely gotta go for a Tailwind. Definitely gotta go for a Tailwind. Hopefully, he doesn't taunt me. I go from there. I'm definitely dropping expanding force. Over on both of them actually because we had the surge on. Do not taunt me. We knew we knew he was Dynamax and like we saw this coming all day. If he taunts and tailwinds, we're kind of sitting in a bad spot. Maybe I should have predicted it and maybe went into a protect that turn. 
Let's kind of waste out turns because I know my I, well, I'm pretty sure my Ndidi should be able to outspeed this uh, Porygon. This is 161 speed. Usually the Porygons are like 150 ish, 140 ish, something along those range. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's, let's just see what happens here. Okay, we do get off our tailwind. Lovely, lovely. We get off our tailwind. This is just beautiful. This thing is gonna go for a tailwind of its own. Like I said, I'm pretty sure my Ndidi should be able to take speed, man. And get off the first hit. Yep. Gets off that hit. Yeet. Oh, beautiful damage. I love you. Beautiful damage. Strike coming out here. Who are you going to take out? Go for my Wim Scott, please. Nope. Indeedy. Sorry, Indeedy. You're gone. So I hate to tell you, Indeedy. Like, that thing is just an absolute monster. And, and he gets a crit. And he gets a crit. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Things critting up on me. Um, I think I got to get out Cinerace. I think, like, Cinerace is the call. Dynamax Cinerace. Or I could go Starmie. Ben and the Dan Do I go Starmie here? I want to go Starmie. I really do want to go Starmie. So I will do that. I, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to double up into that uh, Porygon. Or if I just go Expanding Force, it'll be fine. Or if I go Meteor Beam. Meteor Beam is nice, but I think Expanding Force is just a lot better. So we're going to go Expanding Force. So Wimscott goes out, and we're going to double up into the Porygon Z. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's just see what happens here. Yeah, I got speed all day. Starmie is going to outspeed that Porygon. And I don't think it, one Energy Ball, if Wimscott is even using Energy Ball, is going to take out my Starmie. It is using Energy Ball. Okay. I don't think it's going to take him out. Yeah, see? We're chilling. Starmie going Star to do fine. Phantom Force comes out. Say bye to that Wimscott. Do some damage over on Porygon. And I think Porygon is going to actually survive this Energy Ball and be just fine. Max Strike coming out here. Who are you going after? Who goes after Wimscott? Wimscott is Sash. This is, this, this is perfect, man. This is perfect. He's going to have to max guard next turn. Who's going to expanding force? The Starmie chilling here. Starmie is totally chilling here. He's going to lower our speed. And that is what's nice about max strike. But definitely energy ball. Can we take out with energy ball? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? This thing's legit on one HP. Get get out of here. Get him out of here. I'm real sick of it. Darmanitan goes out. Darmanitan is probably going to be fast. But, dude, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Game trash. Hmm. I guess I'll. I'm gonna have to double up on the Starman tank. Go expand it for. Ooh. Hold up. If I can land this, this will be lovely. Let's see what I have to do. Let's go Energy Ball over on you. Just in case he doesn't go into that protect and all that. I'm going Meteor Beam. Go Meteor Beam. He does guard. That's totally fine. Meteor Beam should be able to just dump on this thing. EQ comes out and it's gonna pick up double kill. It's just gonna pick up that double kill. It comes down to Cinderace again? Hitting me! Comes down to Cinderace. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Coming down to my boy. Coming down to the goat, who's been pretty much carrying this team on his back all day today. So Cinderace gonna pop out here. Come on, I need you here. I need you here. Those max strikes they come up clutch, lower in speed, but we might only go one and two today. Looking a little tough for us. Looking a little tough. Got a Dynamax. Gotta go into a uh think uh Pyroball, take out this thing, not Pyroball. Was it G-Max Pyroball, is that what it's called? Or G-Max Fireball, I believe it's called. Let's see. Yeah, G-Max Fireball. Or I could actually get a boost from it. Max Knuckle. I'm just gonna go into a Fireball and make sure Star Manitan goes out. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Porygon is definitely going into a Hyper Beam. So I gotta watch out for that. that. That is scary. That is real scary. But if it does go into a Hyper Beam, it, is, it loses a turn. Which, that could be nice. If we can take out our Manta and let that thing go into a Hyper Beam and survive it, we could clutch it up. We could clutch it up. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens, man. The Manta outspeeds me. He outspeeds me. That's probably game. Oh, he killed his Porygon. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. He killed his Porygon. He killed his Porygon. He has to be choice into... I think he's choice Scarf into EQ. I think that's why he's outspeeding so much. Now, he's got to be Choice Scarf, but there we go. Tailwind's out for both teams. There's no way he has a faster Pokemon than Cinderace right here. Please show me something that Cinderace can just dump on. Incineroar. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so here's the thing. Here is the thing. We're not going to be able to one-shot this thing. But, but, I don't think he's going to be able to kill me. I don't think he's going to be able to kill me. Come on, clutch it up, Cinder. Clutch it up, Cinder. Let's see what it does. Let's just see what his play called. We are minus one. We're going to boost back to one right now with this uh, Max Knuckle. 
Come on. Come on, Gene. You got this. Knuckle comes out here. I told you. We're not going to be able to one tap. And I think I got to rely on a high jump kick landing once again. Dark Slayer. We eat all that with that uh, fighting type change. Here's the thing. We got to land a high jump kick. Oh, no, we don't. We got one more turn. Oh, GG. We win. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Two and one. Unless this thing's rocket protect, but probably not. Just quit the battle, dude. You're trash, good. You're trash. Max up comes out. We got it. I thought that was your last turn of Dynamax. But, yo, Cinderace is just... His back is hurt. He's carrying this team all video long to a 2 and one record here. We lost the first battle. Maybe should have won it if we landed that high jump kick. That was like high versus high reward. But won the next two and get a winning record. Really fun team here. I love the Starmie on it. I love the male in DD. Obviously, Cinderace is the beast, the heart and soul of this team. But when isn't he? He's just so good. And he rolls out pretty strong. We got Porygon Z. He can actually uh, take some weight off of the Cinderace. But in most circumstances, Cinderace was the better Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. And just saying, if you watch this video all the way through and you hear me say click that big red subscribe button at the end, you definitely should hit that subscribe button. Like, you watch my whole video through, you best be subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.